This is my dresser. Fun fact, I didn't do the best job building it, so these bottom two are out of service. I literally can't open them. They're just for show, but nobody knows that. Hi, it's Umi. I'm here with Refinery29. Welcome to my dream digs. Before you come in, let's get comfy. Perfect, come on in. Welcome to my room. The overall style of this room is peaceful sanctuary vibes, especially in the colors. Let's start off with my bed over here. So it's made out of sustainable cotton. Both my comforter and the cover, everything is made of sustainable material. I never eat food on my bed. That is a rule that I've set for myself. The more things you do on your bed, the harder it is to sleep. So all I do on my bed is sleep or read. Oh, over here on my bed, I have my favorite stuffed animal named Bluey or Squishy. I've had Bluey since I was seven and I carry her them with me everywhere that I go. The quirkiest thing in my room are all the pen stains on my bed. I'll journal when I go to sleep and I'll fall asleep while I'm journaling and I'll wake up with like my pen on the bed. And my pillows, I learned that square pillows are actually better to sleep on. They're better for your posture when you're sleeping. So another life hack right there, get yourself a square pillow. And then I have my two just comfy pillows back there. They're also made of sustainable cotton. Over here we have some tapestry. We have my fairy lights just to like give the room a little sparkle. And then if you can see up there, I have my dream catchers that I put on top of my bed. They say dream catchers help you to um, attract your dreams, your manifestations, and to really just have more peaceful, beautiful rest. Next to my bed, I have my vision board. I made this last year. Every like three years or so, I like to make a new vision board to like level up my dreams and goals. I like to wake up in the morning, look at that vision board, remind myself that anything is possible. Over here next to my bed, I have this lovely, lovely plant. This plant hasn't channeled me a name yet. Usually I'll like get to know a plant and they'll tell me what their name is, but the energy of the plant is very sweet very loving. When I have bad dreams at night, sometimes I'll reach my hand down and just hold the plant. Welcome to this part of my room. As you can see, I have even more plants over here. Then we have my sound bowls. I love sound bowls. So apart from just singing, my music, I like to incorporate different healing frequencies. I like to do sound baths for friends, families, etc. Um, so I can give you a little sneak peek. wake up, go to sleep to these. Like already, I feel a lot calmer. You can probably even hear it in my voice. My biggest splurge in my room is probably my sound bowls. I feel like every dollar I spent on my sound bowls has returned to me in the form of inner peace. So I'm very proud of those purchases. Next to my sound bowl is, oh, one of my favorite crystals. I got it in Hawaii. Amethyst is good for your third eye, for dreams, for healing. I like that it's a circle and it has like, a little little hole through it. I, I just feel like it's like channeling my, my dreams and my energy into this. Behind my amethyst, I have the selenite crystal. Selenite is good for amplification, purification. It's kind of like math. So you put this behind any crystal that you like and it helps to amplify the energy of it. Then behind here, I have some of my jewelry. I get a lot of my jewelry from the farmer's market actually and like flea markets, like the ones I'm wearing right now. Every week, I also like to go to the farmer's market and get flowers and make flower arrangements. It's been a new hobby I just started. And then right here, we have my painting. I love to just surround my space with art. This one was inspired by nature and jellyfish, so I feel like you can feel both the energies there. Right here's my little creative corner. So as you can see, I painted on my wall. About like a month ago, I randomly woke up in the middle of the night and I was like, I need to paint my wall. Started with this tree over here. And since then, my friends will come by and they'll just add little pieces to my wall, like this little jellyfish my friend added. And I also painted my mirror to kind of go with it. I feel like it brings more forest energy and fun to the room. My 10 year old self will probably love this room, especially the painting on the wall. 
because um, I've always loved to draw. I think little Umi would love to be here. I have affirmations, so I like to keep sticky notes of affirmations around my house and in my room to just send positivity my way. I am exactly where I'm meant to be. That one hits. Every time I say it, I'm like, Mm -hmm. Yes, I am. If you come down here, I like to keep like a little stack of books. I like to sit here and read sometimes or paint my wall. <laughs> Over here we have my yoga mat. Doing yoga every day helps me to stay grounded and connected to my body. The next part of my room is my closet over here, so I'm gonna give you a little sneak peek. Lately, I've been practicing minimalism. I've donated about 75% of the clothes I have, and I'm working to only have clothes that bring me joy when I look at them. I notice sometimes I hold on to pieces just for the sentiment. I have a lot of really fun pieces in here. Most of these are thrifted. I have a lot of cute pants. I have a pants thing like these pants. I love pants. This side of my closet is mainly like my jackets. I love layering pieces and I've currently been on like a patchwork face and this hat. I'm not gonna wear it right now, but this hat I got, I found on like the side of the street at this little stand. I actually have a whole collection of notebooks. My journals are very, very special to me. I have a collection of journals that I've kept since I was four or five. I really, really love sometimes to sit back and look at all the different journals that I have and reflect on how much growth I've gone through. My journals are like this time capsule of life that I get to keep and I love. I have a cute little bag collection over here. I really like colorful bags and I went through a basket face so I have like a lot of cute basket bags. Over here we have my lovely guitar. I just like to have my guitar near me to remind me to just pick it up and play it every day. One thing in my room that I've had since I was little is this kimono that my grandma gave me um, and she's passed it down to me. It's been in the family for a while and it's just this beautiful black and gold kimono that I keep in my closet and it reminds me of my grandma so I love it. I love to write songs in my bedroom. I write a lot of songs on that rug over there. <laughs> I just sit, I'll bring my laptop in here and play music and let the music just channel through me. So my new EP, Introspection Reimagined, is out and it is such a special project to me. If you feel like you're missing live music, please give it a listen because everything's recorded top to bottom live to, to really emulate that feeling of being at a concert. And finally, we have my rug here. I think this rug is like definitely a centerpiece, staple piece of my room. I love this rug because I got it in downtown and I bargained for it. And it was the first time I bargained. Every time I look at this rug, it reminds me I am a powerful woman capable of bargaining and doing many things, standing up for myself. Thanks for checking out my dream digs. Bye. Thank you for watching Refinery29. To watch more videos, click here. And to subscribe, click here.